waking you up with the basins number one for hip hop and more. B93. Why are you taking your kids to school? B. Celebrity gossip. On the go. Get out. Here's what's trending now. Yeah, the lady's going down in the wood. Hollywood. What's trending this morning? Well, we all know what's trending this morning, don't we? Come on now. First and goal. Mahomes swings it. It's there. Hartman. Jackpot. Kansas City. And the Chiefs, they have their dynasty. Yes. Boom. You know it's a party in KC. <laughs> Wow, yes indeed, what a Super Bowl. The Chiefs beating the 49ers uh, 25-22 in overtime. Didn't we all think this Super Bowl was going to be kind of boring? I mean, when we went to halftime, we're like, come on, give us a game. And, well, the second quarter uh, was like, eh. Then you get the third and fourth quarter, and it's like, okay, you guys brought it. You gave us a game and took us in overtime, and there you have it. And, yes, the Chiefs are now, boom, champions back-to-back and uh, pretty much solidifying their dynasty here doing their thing and again ruling it as far as the football world what a game uh yeah thank goodness it went down in overtime but yeah it was all about the chiefs there in the end she's kingdom y'all hear this we've been fighting for all right all day how about a little viva las vegas viva las vegas Elvis never had it better than that right there. Let me tell you. Hey, you still got to fight for your right, don't you? You got to fight for your right. (laughs) Believe it, baby. I'll see y'all next year. There you go. Travis Kelsey uh, totally feeling it. And, yeah, you got to fight for your right. And, of course, given his rendition of Viva Las Vegas. But, yeah, it was definitely uh, their time to grab that trophy once again. The Chiefs are Super Bowl champs. Another world championship with the best fans in the NFL, Chiefs Kingdom. Andy (laughs) Reid. Hey, on three, one, two, three. How about those Chiefs? Patrick Mahomes. Just know that the Kansas City Chiefs are never underdogs. Boom, there you go, there you go. Wow. What a party they're going to be having. And yeah, it's a done deal. The Kansas City Chiefs owning the Super Bowl world, and now they're like, okay, we want to bring a three-peat. Wait, what, huh? Really? Oh, watch out, watch out. Congratulations, Kansas City. What a game. You know what's up. Celebrity Gossip on the go. And Celebrity Gossip is brought to you by Baldwin Electronics, where you get high-performance car audio and more. Check them out at 2003 Andrews Highway, Odessa. Coming up right after this. Boom. All right. Well, the game totally lived up to what it was supposed to. What about the halftime show? What did you think of Usher's halftime show? We got response from that, and we'll go over the awesome show next. Keep it locked on. Good morning. It is definitely a Monday after the Super Bowl. 643 here in the party. Yeah, boy, little Rebecca in the morning time. All right, so of course, the big halftime show. Usher, yeah, yeah. Wow, so what did you think of Usher's halftime show? I mean, he offered hits. He offered abs. He offered some roller skates. And he also offered special guests. What's up? Yep. Uh, Usher doing his thing. Special guest with her, Will I Am, Little John, Jermaine Dupree, Luda was in the house as Usher threw down big time.
Awesome job. Uh, let's see what you guys thought here on our Facebook last night. Uh, Rebecca said it was great. Jeffrey says last part was the best part. There you go. Uh, Barbara says best part of the game. Uh, Michaela says one of the best. Uh, Jose says it started too romantic, but it got better in the end. <laughs> there you go. And how about Christella says it was awesome, and nobody else has ever worn roller skates like him while dancing. I tell you, that roller skate stuff was awesome. He threw it down big time. And the thing was, was the hits. You know what I mean? I mean, when you're there and you're just jamming to it, you're like, damn, this sounds like Flashback Friday on B93. What's up? What's up? I mean, the jams were just coming left and right. And I think most people gave it a thumbs up. Now, there was some sort of difficulty, technical difficulty with the microphone uh, on the first couple of songs that he started. And people said it sounded a little different. His voice was here and there, and yeah, there was a little bit of a technical issue, they said, and they agreed that they, yeah, there was a technical issue, but brought it through, brought his friends out, did his thing, and hey, made some noise last night, as of course, Usher could, and only would, and I'm telling you right now, he threw it down. Let's go, let's go. What? Right, not mad. Leo and Rebecca in the morning, B93. So we talked about the Super Bowl. Of course, Kansas City still partying over that big Super Bowl win last night. Over time, what is that? What is up? Back to back. Of course, we talked about Usher doing his thing and all the awesomeness that that halftime show was. Okay, so what about the commercials? There was some crazy commercials. I felt like there was a lot of commercials this year with a lot of celebs all over the place. And I do feel that the commercials were a little bit better than last year. Um, but uh, here are some that stuck out. How about Christopher Walken? Surrounded by people impersonating him. Now, people have been impersonating Christopher Walken, the way he talks, for years. And they finally did a commercial about it. So, yeah. Nice ride. It's the real deal. 100%. Electric. It's the real deal. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. Enjoy your coffee. Careful, it's hot. Thanks. Your dog's so cute. Mm, yeah. You know, you look nice. Okay. Hello, Mr. Walken. Does this table work for you? Yeah. There's only one Christopher Walken and only one ultimate driving machine. The rest are just imitations. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's Christopher Walken listening to B93. Just the way he talks, uh, they made fun. I, that was pretty cool. The thing is, though, I didn't even know it was a BMW commercial, so does it matter? It doesn't. How about Schwarzenegger and DeVito? Wait a minute. They reunited for a State Farm commercial, of course, back in the day doing the movie Twins. Like, Thank you, Agent State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Cut. Hey, Arnold, I'm hearing neighbor. It, it's neighbor. That's what I said. Neighbor. 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 Let's go again. Like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Cut. Now what? Neighbor. Yeah, neighbor. Just like it's written on the paper. Neighbor. Still no. Neighbor. 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 Cut. Arnold, got a bit of a script change. You'll love this. Thank you, Agent State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You are a backstabber. I am a backstabber. <laughs> hey, it was neighbor. Neighbor, we're going to the chopper. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but a lot of people really like the Ben Affleck one. Watch out for Dunkin' Donuts. He's been doing Dunkin' Donuts commercials. I think he had one last year. But this one, he brought a crew with him, including some big hitters, including Tom Brady. Yeah. And, of course, um, Matt Damon. Yeah, his big buddy, of course. J-Lo was in it. And pretty much Ben Affleck did a hip-hop audition for J-Lo. How cool was that? Come on. Well, she, she came to my work. Now I got to show her what I can do. What up, Bronx? For your consideration, here comes the Boston Massacre. The Dunkies. Touchdown, Tommy on the keys. And need no interaction, my partner. It's really hard to be your friend, man. You said you were going to support me. Dunkies. Don't, don't go away. My heart. Why you dunking me, girl? Why you dunking me? 
do you like them donuts? I'm so sorry. You had to see it, but I forgive you. Lay us on the track. Are we going to be on the album? We talked about this. Let's go. Tom, you can stay. You remember when I told you I'd do anything for you? This is anything. Chill. They're naming a drink after us. <laughs> Matt Damon's like, remember I told you I'd do anything for you? This is anything. Yeah, yeah, go. So there you have it. Pop, that was really cool. I thought that was cool. J-Lo there. How about J-Lo saying, Tom Brady, you can stay. The rest of y'all can leave, including my husband. Wow, good stuff there. But Tom Brady, by the way, in several commercials yesterday making some noise. I did like the one, the, 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 the you've already won too much Tom Brady commercial. You've already won too much, Tom Brady. Sit down, sit down, doing your thing. Anyways, uh, there are some of the commercials. One of the other commercials that I really thought was cool was the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. And they're going to add caramel on it. And the whole room went crazy. Yes, no, yes, no. You just have to see it to really enjoy. I thought that was pretty cool, too. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, Super Bowl commercials better than last year? Watch out. Leo and Rebecca in the morning. B93. Yeah. The 432's morning show. Leo and Rebecca in the morning. morning, morning. Only on B93. Three app. This loca. <laughs> don't give a damn. That's right. Time for Carmen Calls with Leo and Rebecca in the morning. B93. Hello. Hello, my name is Gunnaman with Spa and Rejuvenation. May I please speak to Amanda? Uh, yes, this is Amanda. Hi, Amanda. I'm calling to confirm your couple's massage for Valentine's Day. Uh, and yes. I wanted to inform you that we did find a couple to participate with you. Wait a minute, what? For the couple's massage on Valentine's Day, I'm calling to confirm that. Yes, for me and my husband. And I'm telling you the couple that you'll be having the massage with. The, you mean the masseuse? Who are you telling me? You and your husband. That's one couple. Yes. And then there's Pence. Um, that's the other couple. No, no, no. I've never heard of a couple's massage with, with two couples. Just a couple's massage. Like a couple's massage. A couple massage would be just one couple. But you signed up for the yes. couple's massage, which is two couples. <gasps> Sometimes even more. No, 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 but no, that no. depends on how many blue chews and your pain threshold. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Hello, my name is Carmen, calling with Spa and Rejuvenation. I believe we were disconnected. No, actually, I hung up on you. We are only confirming this. Me and my husband, we, we want a romantic massage with just one Oh, couple. you are. You're definitely going to be romantic, and they're very touchy-feely. No, 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 no. Nobody wants another couple in with their couple massage. They're excited. They're upside-down pineapple people. I want to confirm for one couple, two masseuses, maybe some champagne, oh, but no other couple. Oh, I get it. So you want to massage you. No, no, no. Oh, why would uh, we want... No, 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 no. Nobody Listen, ma'am, I can tell why you need the couple's massage because you seem very stressed. I am very stressed with Carl. I don't want another couple. No Sam, no Guadalupe. Okay. Just me and my husband. So I'm going to need some time to secure another couple then, ma'am. If you're not going to no, pay. I, oh, no, I don't think I want this either. How do you know you've never met freaks? No, no, no. Yeah, huh? You can tell by the placement of their piercings. I don't want any of this. Can I talk to somebody else? Okay, I'll call you back and then I'll confirm the oh, next couple, no, okay? No, no, no. Give me a That's couple of days. Not. I'll find the right no. pair for you and your husband to share. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Time to give a shout out. Leo and Rebecca with the birthday holla on the basin's number one for hip hop, B93. Somebody who's having a big old birthday today, doing it on this Monday, February the 12th. All right, uh, from Facebook, birthday shout out to Alejandra Marquez, aka Ali, uh, that works at Five Star Insurance in Odessa, Texas. Hey, give our girl a happy 21st birthday. We love you, girl. Don't work too hard today, mija. Love all of us, Tianda, Durango, Brown, the Porto family. Love you, queen. Awesome. Birthday shouts going out. Celebrity Wise, who's having a big old birthday? Christina Ritchie is 44 years old today. Uh, Gucci Mane is 44 years old. Uh, Robert Griffin III is 34. I've been trophy winner, who now works for ESPN. Just saying. Having a big old birthday. China Phillips. There you go. Wilson Phillips. Hold on. Release me all that good stuff. 
Um, Arsenio Hall. Ooh, 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 yeah. Arsenio Hall from back in the day. 68 years old today. Michael McDonald. Y'all will be there. Love Michael McDonald. I uh, probably don't know who he is. Look him up. Greatest voice ever. One of them. Uh, also having a birthday today. So there you have it. Those are some of the birthdays. If it's your birthday, big birthday shout to you and yours. All right, let's put the morning game wheel. We've got some dominoes up for grabs. Spinning. It's spinning. And we're playing the over-under game. And if you watch the Super Bowl, uh, this game's for you. So real easy. You want to play with some dominoes. All you got to do is dial it up at 563 Double 93, hit us up. Good morning, 7-3. This morning show got me going to R-B-93. B-93, good morning. B-93, good morning. Morning. Hey, who's this? This is Roland. Roland. So what you think of that Super Bowl yesterday, man? And the 49ers should have... One. Wow, you know, you, you kind of felt like they kind of had it, and then at the end there, boom. You know what I mean? Yeah, they played a uh, they played the Cowboys. They they did like the Cowboys. <laughs> oh man, it ain't easy. It's not easy. It's all good. So let's do this. Then we're going to uh, I'll give you some over and under here about the Super Bowl, and uh, you tell us what you, what you think it was over or under. Okay, here's your first one. Reba McIntyre, she sang the national anthem. I thought she did an awesome job. Was the national anthem over a minute 45 or under a minute 45? Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, I didn't watch that first part, so, man, I'm going to say over. So you're going to say it was over a minute 45. It was actually under. Wow. Yeah, well, like a minute 43, which they say was actually kind of short. You know? So there you go. But she did a yeah. great job. She did a really good job. All right. Taylor Swift. How many times did they show Taylor Swift during the Super Bowl? Is it over or under 11 times? Uh, I saw her quite a few times. I'm going to go with over. Over. You would be correct. They showed her 12 times for a total of 54 seconds during the entire Super Bowl. They kept showing her, didn't they? I mean, every time something would happen with Kelsey Travis, boom, they would show her. Yep. It was crazy. All right, final one. Speaking of Travis, Kelsey, uh, of course, on the winning team, at the podium, did he sing two songs over or under two songs? Uh, under. Under? He actually sang two songs. Yeah, there you go. He sang a fight for your right to party, and he also sang Viva Las Vegas. He was in a good mood, let's be real. Hey, it's all good. The uh, Super Bowl's a done deal. You got yourself some Domino's pizza. Congratulations, man, all right? Yep, thank you. All right, he tells what station just hooked it up for you, man. B93. She's Kingdom! In the morning, B93. Leo and Rebecca in the morning, B93. Uh, yeah, so Kaylee's really late getting back to me. It's uh, been over a week. Wow. Maybe we can help with the whole reconnect thing. You know what I mean? What happened on your date? What went down? Yeah, so she played basketball in college and uh, I played in high school. So um, I found a pickup game at my gym. And uh, we were actually on opposing teams, and uh, her team crushed us. <laughs> and then, and then we went for drinks. Okay, well that sounds cool, fun, a little basketball, some drinks. Did y'all get along? Yeah, yeah, she's really fun. She's a great athlete, obviously, and um, you know she had the heart to barely trash talk me after the game. So that, was nice. <laughs> that was nice of her. Any tough moments that we should know about? You know. No, I mean, you know, she took a little longer to get ready after basketball, but, I mean, I have sisters, so I know how that goes. Yeah, yeah. And everything went well at the bar, yeah? Yeah, yeah. The conversation was, like, light and free-flowing. It, it went really great. Huh, that's interesting. All right, well, it looks like everything went pretty good. You know, some basketball, some drinks. Let's figure this fucker out, and we'll do it by calling her next, okay? So don't go nowhere, all right? Sounds good. When I need Nope. 
they weren't having it, somebody got ghosted hard. Cause I've been waiting, waiting. This is Leon Rebecca's second chance date on B93. Hello? Yeah, you're looking for Kylie. Um, this is Kylie. May I ask what this is in reference to? Yeah, we're actually doing a survey on the Super Bowl commercials. We want to know what your favorite commercial was yesterday. I'm just. Oh playing. wow! I I didn't watch the game. <laughs> just playing with you. Um, yeah, this, is, this is Leo Rebecca B93, and just wondering if you have a little oh, bit wow. of time to ch- uh, talk to us about your date. We heard from a guy you went out with recently, who's hoping to find out what your first impressions were of him. So, do you remember Vince? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, of course I remember Vince. Okay. Uh, Did you have fun on your date? What would you say, you know? I had an amazing time on our date. Vince is a great guy, but I, I can't see him again. Wow. So wh- why? Why can't you? Because obviously you're not getting back to him. What's the deal? Yeah. I I don't even know how to tell you, honestly. I feel like you're going to think the worst of me. No, no. I mean, we've we've heard it all. Trust. What's What's up? And the thing is this, like I said, he's an amazing guy. He's a ton of fun. I had the best time with him, but I cannot stand his hair. I know that sounds shallow. But I, <laughs> mm. Wow. Really? His hair? I know. You have to understand he has like this massive comb over and we're playing basketball. So it's just like flapping around off his head the whole time. I, I was embarrassed for him. It was really bad. Oh, gosh. All right. This is going to get awkward here. I'm honestly so humiliated right now. Oh, God. Vince, no, I'm so sorry. I, I, I yeah. just didn't know how to say anything to you. I, oh my God, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. You're such an amazing guy, really. I just, I don't know how to tell a guy he should shave his head. Wait, you, you think Jeez. I should shave my head? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, I think that you would look amazing if you shaved your head. I think you have the perfect shaved head for it. Oh, well, I mean, it's not that I never thought about it. It's just, you know, it's kind of intimidating. Well, I mean, I can see that. Uh, I just, I want to say that I think you'd be really, really hot, okay? And I I don't want to influence you. I don't want to tell you what to do. Um, But if you were to shave your head, I would definitely be there to massage your scalp because, wow. 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 (laughs) Um, Okay. Uh, Well, that's, uh, that sounds pretty nice. I mean, I, I, I think I could roll with that, honestly. Okay, well, this didn't turn out as awkward as it seemed like it was going to then, I guess. Um, you're not mad? Yeah. No. Wow. Okay. Look at that, bro. You get a, you get a date, you get a scalp massage, and who knows what else. <laughs> <laughs> I know yeah, it's the I mean, radio. I, I you did, guys can't I, see him, but he's going to be so hot. <laughs> like, wow. Well, you know, there's nothing wrong with saying, hey, I would like you to do this or this or this or that. And you're open for some suggestions, right, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So this worked out. You you never know these things until someone tells you. Yeah. And she's obviously into you. She just has some suggestions for you and you're willing to take them. Yeah. I am. As long as you're doing it for yourself and not for me. (laughs) Okay. There you go. No, no. I mean, uh... I, yeah, I, I think it clearly will be for the better. So I'm, wow. yeah, I'll do it today. Nice. Well, I have a better thought. Maybe oh, wow. maybe you can help shave his head. You know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> if he's open to it. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm open to that. Okay, uh-oh, I'm going to let you guys you know, go on with this. Thank you guys so much. And at least it worked out, okay? Yeah, I'm really glad Thanks, you called. Guys. Thank you. Awesome. And Rebecca in the morning. B93. More Leo and Re- Do you know somebody who didn't watch the Super Bowl? Halftime, commercials, nothing. Yep, there's some out there. Totally, without a doubt. <laughs> well, for those of you all that didn't watch anything, here's your Super Bowl recap in 30 seconds.
And now your Super Bowl recap in about 30 seconds. Free game. Reba National Anthem. First quarter. 49ers fumble. First quarter, no score. Funny commercials. Second quarter. Record field goal. 49ers trick play. Touchdown. And the second 10 three. Half time. Usher dancing. Alicia Keys. More funny commercials. Third quarter. Travis Kelsey catch. Taylor Swift cutaway. Field goal 10 to 6. Fun recovery. KC. Touchdown. Chiefs 13 10. Fourth quarter. 49ers touchdown. Blocked extra point. 16 13. Chiefs field goal 16 all. Niners field goal 19 16. KC ties 19 all. Overtime. Niners field goal 22 19. Chiefs touchdown. Kansas City repeats. Viva Los Vegas! Yeah. New on Rebecca in the morning. B93.